Five Biggest Volcano Eruptions Caught on Camera Hi everyone and welcome to this YouTube channel. 1. Mount Etna, Italy Mount Etna, Italy, is one of the world's most active volcanoes. It has erupted more than 1,700 times in its history and has 16 known craters. One such eruption occurred in 2014, when lava flowed from the crater onto the surrounding countryside. The video below was recorded by a tourist who was on a boat near the volcano's crater. Mount Etna is one of the most active volcanoes in Italy and Europe. It has erupted over 1,000 times over the past 2,000 years, but no eruption has ever been recorded on camera. That is until now. Mount Etna's last eruption occurred in 1902, when it erupted for four months and sent hot springs and lava flows down its slopes. The eruption was so violent that it completely changed the landscape around Mount Etna, causing houses to be destroyed and burying farms under ash. Two. Mount Pinatubo, Philippines Mount Pinatubo is a strait of volcano located in the Philippines. It has erupted at least five times since it was first active in 1500 BCE. The last time it erupted was in 1991, when it ejected about four kilometers of lava. This eruption destroyed most of the town of Casiguran and killed 15 people. In 1995, another eruption killed several hundred people and displaced two million others from their homes. The current level of activity is not high, but scientists are still monitoring Mount Pinatubo for signs that an eruption may occur in the future. Mount Pinatubo is a Philippine strait of volcano located in the island of Luzon. It erupted in 1991, destroying surrounding villages and forcing the evacuation of about 20,000 people. The eruption had a devastating effect on agriculture in the area, but it also marked the end of an era for people who lived near the volcano. The eruption began after Mount Pinatubo experienced several years of low activity due to an extended drought that had plagued the Philippines since 1985. The eruption started when lava began flowing down into the area around Mount 3. Mount Street Helens, United States Mount Street Helens, located in Washington State, is the most famous of all volcanoes on this list. The volcano has erupted about 30 times since its last eruption in 1980 and the most recent eruption was in May of last year. The eruption caused ashfall across much of the Pacific Northwest, but it did not cause any fatalities or injuries. The eruption was captured on camera by a drone that was flying over the volcano at the time. The video shows smoke rising from the crater and ash falling from above. The eruption ejected about 200 million tons of ash and rock into the air and created a crater almost 250 feet deep. The main area where ash fell down was around 56 miles from Mount Street Helens Crater. Some people were killed by the shock wave while they were driving or walking outside during this event. Others were buried alive by mudslides that followed after the explosion occurred. More than 100 people died as a result of the eruption, which caused a huge debris field to form around the mountain's crater and created a large ash cloud that spread across much of western Canada. The eruption destroyed several towns and forced thousands to evacuate as lava flowed down Mount Street Helens slopes into Spirit Lake, where it cooled at an average temperature of minus 6 degrees Celsius. Mount Street Helens is a beautiful place in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. It is home to a volcano that has erupted many times, but most notably in 1980 after it was dormant for decades. This eruption produced a large amount of ash and rock, which was visible from space and had a devastating effect on those living around Mount Street Helens. The eruption affected the entire U.S. West Coast and forced many people to evacuate their homes while officials tried to contain the situation. The evacuation was only temporary, and when it was time to return home, there were still many restrictions placed on people trying to go home as well as what they could bring back with them. The second eruption occurred on May 22, 1982, and lasted for three months. During this time period, the volcano blew off its summit block and sent ash up to 50 miles away from its crater. It killed 13 people and destroyed 36 homes, along with several other buildings in the area. The third eruption occurred on March 22, 2004, when a gas and steam explosion occurred within its summit crater at around 5.30 p.m. local time, 18.30 UTC. The blast sent ash 30 miles into the atmosphere and caused an avalanche that killed 11 people who were caught in it near Spirit Lake Campground near Pumas Mountain, on Mount Rainier National Park, about 25 miles away from Mount Stellan's base camp area. 4. Kilauea Volcano, Hawaii, U.S. Been 50 years, 
It was not until recently that scientists realized just how fascinating these eruptions are, with a camera on the ground capturing images of lava flows, craters, and ash clouds. The eruption started in 1963 and continued through 2016. The volcano is located on New Zealand's North Island, which has been experiencing increasing seismic activity over the past few years. The following day, Mount Ruapu made headlines all over the world as news outlets shared photos and video footage from people taking part in various activities, such as hiking and camping near the summit area, where lava had begun flowing downslope into streams and rivers below it. Some even reported seeing large plumes of steam rising from within the summit crater itself. The eruption caused over $500 million in damages and destroyed homes, roads, bridges, and other infrastructure throughout Tongariro National Park. The Mount Ruapahu eruption has been a long time coming. In fact, it's been a warning sign for many years that Mount Ruapahu was about to erupt once again. It's been erupting since the 1950s. Like and subscribe to the channel, give a comment in case of any questions and confusions, and also must click on the bell icon. Been 50 years. It was not until recently that scientists realized just how fascinating these eruptions are, with a camera on the ground capturing images of lava flows, craters, and ash clouds. The eruption started in 1963 and continued through 2016. The volcano is located on New Zealand's North Island, which has been experiencing increasing seismic activity over the past few years. The following day, Mount Ruapu made headlines all over the world as news outlets shared photos and video footage from people taking part in various activities, such as hiking and camping near the summit area, where lava had begun flowing downslope into streams and rivers below it. Some even reported seeing large plumes of steam rising from within the summit crater itself. The eruption caused over $500 million in damages and destroyed homes, roads, bridges and other infrastructure throughout Tongariro National Park. The Mount Ruapahu eruption has been a long time coming. In fact, it's been a warning sign for many years that Mount Ruapahu was about to erupt once again. It's been erupting since the 1950s. Like and subscribe to the channel, give a comment in case of any questions and confusions, and also must click on the bell icon.